Amen. What's God going to do in my life? And I'd like to say something tonight. To, amen. There was Moses and God. I mean, how many of they wasn't a big congregation there? They wasn't a lot of people gathered together. They wasn't no choir there. They wasn't no piano player or drum player or guitar player. But how many of God was there? I'm talking about God was there. And how many of sometimes we think, well, you know, we've got to have all this to have church. But I'm going to say something tonight. The biggest need that Moses ever had is when he met God. I mean, it was the biggest need that Moses ever had. And you say, why was it the biggest meeting? I'll tell you why it was the biggest meeting. When Moses met God at the bush, how you know a lot of things came out of that meeting? I mean, when God met Moses, it wasn't just a one-time deal, it wasn't a one-time prayer, but it was just Him and God. I'm talking about, you think, said, well, somebody said, well, you know, I had a meeting that run four to 6,000 people. Some said, I had a meeting that had 10,000. And you might have had a meeting that had that day. But I'm going to tell you the biggest meeting you'll ever get in is when you meet God. I mean, when you meet God. I mean, now that's a, that's a big meeting when people meet God. I mean, that's a big meeting. When I met God, I had no things changed in my life. I and mean, things are still coming out of it. When people meet God, friends, I mean, no things begin to happen and things begin to change. I mean, no, it never did stop with Moses. But I guarantee you, you can talk to Moses and say, what was the biggest meeting you ever had, Moses? He said, when I met God up there, it was just me and God. My friends, I'm here to tell you, when you meet God, I mean, no, things are going to take place. Things are going to come out of your life. Ministries are going to take forth. You'll see the power of God working in your life. But I mean, it ain't in a big meeting. But it's when you meet God one on one. I mean, that's the greatest thing and the turning point in people's lives. Listen, you can attend a big meeting and nothing happened to you. I mean, you can sit in a big church, amen, and you can be the same. But brother, when you meet God in an old-fashioned order and meet God on His terms, friend, I mean, that's when things begin to happen. Amen. How many know God's able to do it? And sometimes we think that our crowd's not big and we judge things by how many people's there. That don't have anything to do with it. Amen. Brothers, when people, when individuals meet God, how you know, that's when the change is in the life and when things begin to take place. It ain't how big the need is. It's who you there for. I mean, brother, when you meet God, something takes place. Amen. Brother, when I met God, amen, my life changed around. You know what took place in my life? Amen. I got saved by the grace of God and I cleaned up my house. I pulled up my marijuana plants. I got rid of my, my rock and roll records. I mean, I've done a lot of house cleaning, but I know I meet God. But if you don't meet God, there's no change going to come in your life. But brother, when you meet God, how many know you begin to work on yourself? You begin to take note. You begin to change things around in your life. But brother, if we don't meet God, nothing's going to take place. Amen, brother. When you meet God, that's a big thing, what I call, is when you meet God as an individual, how many know you'll blossom in the things of God? You'll become a saint. You'll become a like God, but you got to meet Him. Amen. We can't do it on our own. Amen. How you know, after 30 something years, uh, I, I evangelized for almost 11 years, pastored uh, over 20 years. Uh, I got a few years at it. But how you know, things are still coming out of it, out of that one meeting Ooh. I had with God. So you can't judge a, a meeting on having people there. And we like to see people come to a meeting. But, brother, what we really need to do is that we met God in that meeting as individuals. See, God's not moving just in a crowd in a sense. Uh, but have you know God's moving on individuals one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Have you know God's speaking to the hearts of people and wanting people to yield their hearts to God. And when you go home, have you know the meeting still goes on. The meeting didn't quit for Moses. Uh, amen, brother, when he met him at the bush. Uh, and you know when Moses was on the mountain and he got down in the valley, God said, don't you forget the pattern what I showed you. Amen, when he was on the mountain. He said, don't forget what I showed you up there. When you get in the valley and things are going wrong, have you know we had a meeting with God. It don't matter if we're in the valley, if we're on the mountain. Have you know we know God's the same. What we do is wait upon the Lord. And those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They should mount up with wings as eagles. They should run and not be weary. And they should walk and not faint. Why? Because we met God. I tell you, church, when you meet God on His terms, things begin to happen. Amen, brother. 
change in our life and the ministry begins to blossom. Amen. I know God's still working in the church today. See, we don't look around and say, man, we've got a big crowd. Amen. I know big crowds are like not make it. It's when people recognize who God is on their sales. Amen. You may have a little church and a little place and some people can look down their nose at you and thought said, what are they doing for God? You know why we're there? Because we met God one time and we're standing in the gap and making up the head. And the body of Christ is a worldwide church. Amen. Brother God's got people all over the world. Amen. That had a big meeting one time and it changed their life by the grace of God. And we're still laboring in the kingdom of God. And something inside of us said we can't turn back. Amen. I had a meeting with God. My God, I've met God in his terms. And I'm feeling the fire of God still burning in my life. Heaven of my society, he's still the same today, yesterday, and forever. And that's no he changes now. And God's calling out. He's calling the deed into the deed. We were his boys, church. Amen. We had a meeting with God. And things are coming out of this meeting. I mean, look, don't stop, church. And the fire of God. I tell you, if it's ever been the time, some people need to meet God at the bush. But I mean, you know, I've made it for 11 years. Amen. Because I 